Secret number three, no perfect alignments. In this example, the tiles are perfect. So you can see the tiles, the gap here to there from big to small, from big to small, and this gap is big to small. From here, this is big to small. But in the real world, it looks like this. And there's a photo to prove it. There's a big gap here. Even though the tiles are the same, the gaps are different. So there are some misalignment. So let's go look at the example blend file. Okay, here, layer 1 is the perfect one. This is just perfect alignment that we normally do in Blender and almost every render. But ideally, we do this. We should do this. There are big gaps, small gaps. You see, there are big gaps and small gaps. Even though the tile size are the same, there are different gap size. Here, we just move some of the tiles. We just select it, press L, then move it a little. We will don't do all tiles because it will get chaotic. You just select few tiles like one these tiles or and then uh, this or this and then this and maybe that that will create enough illusion of the imperfection you just move it a little okay now for this simpler example but prove a lot of the points imagine you are looking from a plan view from the top of a room. This is a room. There is big, big square is a room, and then this is uh, the table in inside the room. This looks too perfect because this edge are perfectly aligned parallel to this edge. If we just tweak just a little bit like this, it feels more natural. It feels that tiny kind of error introduce uh, that that feel of this is what we human normally do and it is only 0 0.5 degree rotation this way and then there are i already show you uh rotation on the this example okay special one on the uh the tile example and then there are misalignment on height misalignment on scale okay misalignment on height and rotation is on this uh, example this is what we normally do in blender we get one pole and then we array it but in the real world it happens like this we have one pole even though they are the same size they are slightly rotated and with different height like this okay let's see the file Okay, here it feels too perfect. Even though even the and the aliasing in the uh, image also shows that it is totally perfect. In here, you can see that this is perfect. This is rotated this way. This is no maybe some height adjustment here. This is the same height adjustment. Uh, maybe perfect not not rotated this one is rotated a bit and then lowered here you can see lowered here this one is the same height maybe okay this a little bit lowered and it's rotated another way so if you really in the real world you st stick poles like this for a fence the even even the poles will move a bit so it will introduce like this and then it feels natural to have this kinds of imperfection so to summarize is do not put everything aligned perfectly do not put every pole aligned perfectly uh, you will you must introduce some imperfection in the alignment uh, in this three uh, four method okay four types of uh, misalignment one is height scale so something can be bigger or smaller slightly bigger or slightly smaller maybe one inch or less than an, uh, less two two centimeter smaller or bigger or few millimeters bigger or smaller 
then you have rotation so uh, the table in the room example just now and then uh, special alignment where you have different kind of uh, com the combination of the everything so that's like the tie example just now so the third secret is misalignment 